Are you tired of having issues with your doll's hair? Is it simply too frizzy and it only seems to get worse when you try to brush it? Not to worry. Today I have a full guide for you on how to take care of almost any type of doll hair problem that you're dealing with. Before we get started, as always, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Barbie dolls are super fun to collect and play with, but like any doll, their hair can become really frizzy and out of control. In today's video, I'll be going over several different common types of doll hair problems and how to cure them. The first thing you need to know is that there are many different types of doll hair. Some come with smoother hair and others have more thick and coarse hair, while other types can be really sticky and oily in a way. You also need to know that even the very same doll can be manufactured to have a different type of hair. So that means that naturally some types of doll hair are easier to take care of than others, but that doesn't mean you can't make a doll with difficult hair look good. Our first example is going to be on this doll here. As you can see, her hair is very thick and very coarse. Even after we've taken it out of its ponytail, it's still molded to stay upright like this. There are several different ways that you can cure this type of doll hair problem here. But as I was saying earlier about the different types of doll hair, no matter what I do to it, her hair is always going to be thicker and not quite as smooth as some type of doll hair, simply just because it's the way it's made. You can brush this type of doll hair, but it's not really going to do anything to make it any better. The second type of doll hair is a lot more smooth and slick compared to the first, as you can see up here at the root, but at the end it gets really frizzy and matted. I would not suggest brushing this type of doll hair because that actually only makes this one worse, especially if it's a more severe case. So once again, do not brush this type of doll hair first. The third type of doll hair is common in a lot of today's Barbie dolls, and it's honestly one of the easiest types to take care of. It's really smooth and slick, and it doesn't get tangled very easily. I love this type of doll hair, and a lot of the dolls I use do have this one. You don't really have to do anything, and brushing this type of doll hair will actually make it look a lot better. In my opinion, one of the worst types of doll hair problems to have is sticky doll hair. This is absolutely the worst, and it's not as common as the others because it's not actually a problem. It's actually a defect in the dolls. And please note that so far I have not been able to find a cure for this, so today we'll be experimenting on it. So the cause of sticky doll hair is actually that the glue inside of the doll's head has came loose and it's still sticky so it kind of seeps out into the doll's hairline making her hair really sticky. That's why this problem is so hard to solve because it won't matter how many times you rinse out her hair or wash it over and over again. Curly doll hair can also serve as a big problem. It's honestly one of the hardest types of doll hair to take care of, but as you can see on this one, her curls are just starting to get matted and they're really not looking very good at all. This happens to almost all of my dolls with curly hair, even if you hardly do anything with them. Here we have another type of doll hair. This one is a lot smoother and slicker and it's really nice except that it does get a little frizzy in some places, but not to worry because I actually have a really good cure on how to solve this type of doll hair problem. My miracle cure for almost any type of doll hair problem is a good old fashioned boil wash. I boil wash my doll's hair all of the time because it really does work and it fixes nearly any type of doll hair problem that you're dealing with. To do a boil wash, you can either heat up a bowl of water over the stove or in the microwave. I like to do the stove, but the microwave does work just as well. Be very careful when you're doing this though because some types of doll hair react very badly to hot water. This is one of the reasons that it is important to find out what type of hair your doll does have so that it won't react badly to the boil wash. This doll for example had really smooth and shiny hair but after the wash you can see that the ends broke off a lot and it's gotten really ratted and tangled and unfortunately there is no way to cure this type of doll hair simply because it's just been damaged too much. If your doll's hair does get damaged beyond repair or you don't want to risk a boil wash, there are two options that I would suggest to you. 
For one, just buy the same doll over again, and she'll either come with a different type of hair that's easier to take care of, or you have a redo. My second option would be to do a hair reboot on the doll, because this way you can put some customizable hair on your doll, but be careful and make sure you know what you're doing before you do it to one of your favorites. We're back with my bowl of water after it's been heated up. Some people like to get theirs closer to boiling, but I actually just like mine really, really hot. You can also use water from the sink, but it won't be nearly as effective. I also have several different brushes and combs with me. I find that the thin tooth combs are really effective when it comes to brushing doll hair. And of course, I'm gonna be using an average Barbie brush. I also have this third one here that I've never used before. And last of all, I have a towel over here to lay my dolls on to dry after I finish boil washing their hair. A boil wash is actually a really simple thing to do. Basically, all you're gonna be doing is dipping your doll's hair into the hot water. Some people leave theirs in here for a few minutes, but I just kind of periodically take it in and out of the water, just so it doesn't really have a chance to damage the hair, but that it can have some of the effects of a boil wash. I do this several times for about one to two minutes until I think that the doll's hair is looking good. I might also brush it a little bit while I'm at this, but other than that, that's all you really have to do in a boil wash. So before you guys freak out on this one, I actually forgot that I once attempted to dye my doll's hair with Kool-Aid, so that is the red stuff that is coming off in the water. But no worries, there's nothing wrong with a boil wash in Kool-Aid dyed water. Once I finish boil washing my doll's hair, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out. You can even do this on dolls with curly hair and it's not gonna damage their hair in any way. In fact, it's actually gonna make it look a lot better. It's also a lot easier to brush the tangles out of the doll's hair. It might actually surprise you with how good the doll's hair looks when you're done because a lot of the times it looks just like it did when you first got the doll. But I mean, this is my miracle cure for any type of doll hair problem for a reason. I told you once and I'll tell you again, a boil wash works miracles on your doll's hair. You can do a boil wash on your dolls for as many times as you would like. Just make sure that it's not actually damaging your doll's hair as I showed earlier. Also be very careful when you're brushing the doll's hair so you don't accidentally pull some of it out. As you can probably tell, my doll's hair already looks so, so much better. I'm gonna let them sit here for a while for their hair to dry, then we'll come back and take a look at the results. We did lose some doll hair in the process, but it's not actually that much considering how many dolls there are. Another method I've seen on how to cure doll hair is to actually get your bowl of boiling water and mix in a thing of laundry detergent. All I had was tied with me, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this, especially on my dolls with the stickier hair, to see if this will help in any way. I'm gonna do just like I did with the boil wash of dipping my doll's head in the water, then letting her sit for a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brush her hair out. As you can see, it's actually making it pretty soapy, which I hope is a good sign. So unfortunately, that did not work when it comes to curing dolls of sticky hair, so we're gonna try yet another method that I've seen. So we're actually gonna be putting baby powder into the doll's hair. What this does is it actually absorbs the oil in the doll's hair and makes it a lot less oily. I'm gonna pour some into my bowl, then go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and rub the baby powder into the doll's hair, especially around her scalp where it's the most sticky. For the next step, I'm gonna be using some rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna pour it into my bowl here, and then I'll be brushing it right into my doll's hair. I'm just gonna be using a paintbrush to very generously cover the doll's hair with the rubbing alcohol. So what I think this does anyways is that it just kind of helps the baby powder get absorbed into the doll's hair a little bit better. So I'm back after the doll's hair have finished drying and I have several different thoughts. So first up, I wanna say that this method actually did work. The baby powder really helped to absorb that oil in the doll's hair and make it a lot less sticky. 
The only drawback is, especially in the dolls with the darker hair, is that you can kind of tell that they still have baby powder in there. I think that the rubbing alcohol did help a little bit, but not all the way, especially on the ones with darker hair. You can't hardly tell on the one, the blonde one I have, that she has baby powder in her hair, but the others it is quite a bit more noticeable. So you're probably wondering, does this method work? Should I use it? I would suggest it for your dolls with the lighter hair because it actually turned out really great. The only problem is the dolls with the darker hair, you can tell quite easily that there is the baby powder in there. It's, it's not as bad on camera, but in real life I can really tell, so it's kind of a trade-off if you want sticky hair or powdery hair. Here's a little trick I have for my Ken dolls with dark black hair. So once again, you can't really tell very well on camera, but several of my guys here have just kind of bald spots where the paint of their hair has worn away, and I really don't like these, so I actually have a way to fill these in. So what I do is I get myself a sharpie marker and I literally just color in the bald spots. This method actually works really great. You might be able to tell a little bit, but it's not actually very noticeable. Another common type of doll hair problem is when your doll has a hump in her hair from it being stuck up for so long. So the way I treat this type of doll hair problem is that I first part the doll's hair the way that I want it to be, then I place a cat or a Barbie hat on top of her head to really just flatten the hair out. But to make it stay, I'm actually going to get an elastic rubber band here and place it across her head because the cap sometimes does fly off. Now, if you're wondering, this method might seem a little crazy, but it actually does work and I use it a lot to really control my doll's hair and make it a lot flatter. Now it's time to show you guys the results of the boil wash. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we have new videos every Saturday and on occasional other days. Thank you all so, so much for all the support you guys give me. It's actually that support that encourages me to make new videos and new content for you guys.